I can't top that. I'm gonna make sure this mic don't slide. Last year it kept sliding on me and I was like, this I caught an angel. I caught an angel, innocent and pure. Innocent, pure, perfect and more. And I never caught an angel before. She said she was sent to help me, hold me and love me. She wouldn't be able to stay very long, but she would come back from time to time. She made me laugh, she made me love. She was everything I needed. Everything and more. And I never loved an angel before. By the end of the day, it was time for her to fly away. I couldn't let her go. So I cut off her wings. I cut off her wings and she fell to the floor. I'd never cut an angel before. She looked up at me, I could tell she was scared, so I picked her up, held her to show her how much I cared. I wanted to sleep with her next to me before. I'd never slept with an angel before. As I started to doze off, I could feel her slip away as if she was trying to escape. I couldn't let her go. So I cut off her arms and legs. I cut off her arms and legs and she rolled to the floor. I'd never hurt an angel before. Now she started to cry. I can't explain how painful it is to see an angel cry. As she looked up at me and asked me why, I couldn't take it anymore, so I took out her eyes. I took out her eyes as if she didn't need them anymore. I never blinded an angel before. Now she started asking why. Not wanting to explain reason for what I'd done, I started to cut out her tongue. Still she asked why. Why did you change me? I stopped cutting and dropped my knife to the floor and I said, because I never caught an angel before. She said, well I was an angel before, but I am not an angel anymore. Without my wings, I am not an angel anymore. Without my arms and legs, I am not an angel anymore. Without my eyes, I am not an angel. So I let her go, hoping another angel would come to my door, because I never had an angel before.